a lot of systems gives you different combination of hydrogen three. A lot of systems you have created CH3. In fact, all of you who've been around the plasma technology have produced tritium in the plasma state. I have made a plasma physicist, what I call nuclear plasma physicist, atomic nuclear plasma physicist, out of all of you without you knowing. And you know more than most of the PhDs who call themselves nuclear physicists. But it's come to you so naturally, in the process of making it, that you have not gathered most of your professors in this technology. You got to understand and I slow down, and go back, and have a look, what you missed. What you have gathered, that now you can use, you have overlooked. A lot of you have collected, and done CO2. A lot of you have done CO2. A lot of you have done CO, a lot of you have done Z and O, a lot of you have done, CH3, and so, naturally you speak about it, and you show it. The Students of Knowledge Seekers Institute, you've been into space technology a long time. But you have to understand how to use this. You have to understand how you can manipulate this. I always said, when one touches, it means the knowledge is already enlightened the soul of the others. One of the knowledge seekers touched, understood, and the others get enlightened. Go back in the process of production of CH3. Go back and ask yourself, how did the CH3 come to exist? How do you produce CH3? You use carbonized, whatever it is. And a copper. why your CH3 has a tint of red in it. Have you ever asked yourself? Very simple. You remember that amino acid, and you hung up an iron in it, a rusty nano-coated iron, which dripped blood. There it is. Now you see, now you understand, why your CH3 is the energy, and, he has the energy to feed you, to give you a strength. Because it's a carbon with a hydrogen level, which is in line with the amino acid, and in line with iron, in a strength, which is the hemoglobin of the body of the man. You understood, the zinc and copper nano-coated create the condition of carbon. You created the mixture, you have an iron backing. And some of the iron and the given strength, 
with copper. Gives you or what I call in fact the Gans material you have is a tritium hydrogen but because you use it in the matter state is looks to you as a matter state of hydrogen As I said in all my teachings, I am a magician. I'm a master of science of elements in the universe. Three years you all been producing, but you never stood still to understand. And I took you across, because till you are ready to understand the production. Now, you understand. Now you understand the essence of the energy of the universe in running a space reactor has always been in your hand. If you understood, if you understand what is on this table, what is sitting here, you understand, you have the essence of everlasting energy, everlasting composition of elements to give you whatever you need in the universe. You remember, when we spoke with Amino acid, CO2, CO2, ZNO2. We always explained the connection. Now, if you put CH3 here, now you understand very clearly the connection. How you can use CH3 as a fuel. In the teaching yesterday to the doctors, I explained this and I realized that nobody has understood. CH3 is a giver. It gives energy. These guys with oxygen, due to gravitational pull of the oxygen, are takers. This is magnetical energy source. These are gravitational energy source. So, what in fact happens, is that in the process of the structure, this is what you have missed. Something is happening here, I don't understand. Did you select? It's okay, it's back. No, it's gone very, very thick. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the pen. What you have to understand is, this guy is gravitational. Uh, let's use this one. This guy is gravitational, and this is magnetical. The other name you have chosen for magnetical is very simple. You call it acidic. You call this alkali. You call this magnetical repulsion, gravitational attraction. This is why, when you did the test, when you mixed the CH3 with CO2, and you achieved certain speed of rotation, which create the positioning in the strength of the plasma, 
you had your reactors leaking water or liquid, or you lost a couple of your reactors, depending how much the gravitational field inside was weaker compared to the magnetical, which you added to it, which was the CH3. You created a shielding that the entity inside the middle core could not hold on to, and he disappeared. As I said, the problem with the science of present physics is the choice of words for the same entity, which has created mayhem in the world of science. We call it Coulomb's barrier, the other name for it is atmosphere. We call it gravitational, the others call it alkaline. We call it magnetical, the other call it acidic. We call it entry, we call it gravitational or a south pole. We call it exit, we call it north pole or magnetical. It's all the same word and this choice of words has created mayhem in the brain of the man to understand the simple logic of the essence of the creation in the universe. Now, if you understood, I have given you the magic fuel which you've been looking for. <laughs>